hello students in today's class we'll see standard z transforms so we have seen already the application of damping rule using z transform functions so here we'll see one by one the standard z transform the first one we'll see here as z transform of 1 is equal to z divided by z minus 1 so first formula or first standard form i can say second one we'll see as z transform of n is equal to z divided by z minus 1 whole square already we have seen this third one z transform of n square is equal to z square plus z divided by z minus 1 whole square fourth one is z transform of n cube is equal to z cube plus 4 z square plus z divided by z minus 1 whole raised to 4 so these are the standard z transforms with respect to this using damping rule that is z transform of k raised to n is nothing but z divided by z minus k sixth one z transform of k n of n is equal to z divided by k z divided by z minus k whole square next one is z transform of k raised to n n square is equal to k z square plus k square z divided by z minus k whole cube then next one is z transform of k raised to n into n cube is nothing but k z cube plus 4 times k square z square plus k cube z whole divided by z minus k whole raised to 4 so these are the standard z transforms so using this we are going to prove all kind of examples related to z transform so your duty is to remember this what is a simply z transform and with respect to damping rule that is nothing but if you multiply a constant k raised to n what happens so in this way these z transforms are simplified and uh, the details already we have seen in the previous lectures 
so see that you need to remember this all and will work out using this for the problems